What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Steven. This is Steven in Stereo and in today's video we're going to be diving into the new Kelsey Ballerini EP. I say new, it came out well in February of 2023 so not as new as I actually thought it was. However, I'm very much looking forward to this. My understanding is that this is a EP that is sort of this like short story of her divorce, I believe. Um, I'm a fan of Kelsey Ballerini. I love her vocals so much. And the fact that we're going to be getting just like so much raw emotion through this is going to be sick. Now, before we get into today's video, I just want to plug my Patreon. This EP album reaction will be over there as a full uncut listening party where we just jam the entire thing. Nothing is cut out. Obviously for YouTube, pieces of this are cut out because of a much shorter video. So if you're interested at all in supporting this channel, as well as, you know, getting cool content. The link is in the description. But with all those things out of the way, we're going to start with Mountain with a View. And the pictures look pretty, at least they do on your Instagram. We say good morning and good night. I wonder if you even know where I am. Fuck. I am. Those, like, layered vocals, um that she's got these like really amazing harmonies that are happening. I'm getting like a little bit of a feeling of sort of like a Taylor Swift esque um, production there. And I don't mean like no one's ever done uh, layered vocals like that before, but you can hear it. Cause it reminds me very much of like the Taylor's versions that have been coming out. There's been a little bit more emphasis on having those like double vocals and stuff. And you can hear it. And Kelsey sounds beautiful right here. You know, when you're in a long relationship like that, too, like she says, I think you loved me more when you were 23. Um, you know, people grow apart. Uh, I don't know, like the inner workings of Kelsey's relationship, but people grow apart. And so, yeah, when you get married that young, sometimes you're going to drift from this person. And Kelsey finally realized, like, no, like this is it for me. Oh, man, that range she goes into right there is so beautiful. So this is essentially like two people growing apart, not really like coming to terms with it. And then at a certain point you realize it's happening and Kelsey is that person. And even when she says like, uh, I'm taking off the ring, don't worry about trying to find yours. As in like, this has been over for a long time. We've just been going through the motions. Oh my God, those fucking harmonies. And just like leaving a little bit of that atmosphere in the fucking um, production there, hearing the birds, uh, Big Sur really is beautiful. Um, and it really just like hits home as to, I guess just like how real this song is and how real the emotions are. Because, you know, we look at musicians and they go through a lot of things, ups and downs, trials and tribulations, but like we always feel so disconnected from it sometimes. And so like whenever we have artists that are singing from topics that are so fucking real in um, what it's like to just exist as a human in modern day society, it really hits home. This is that track. This is that track where Kelsey's like, hey, we've been growing apart for so long. Neither one of us are in this. We're both just coexisting at this point. And I think I've just realized sitting at this table by myself in this beautiful place that this is over. It takes a lot of effort to be able to fucking like say that and like admit that kind of defeat. But mm, it just sounds it's hard because the song sounds so beautiful. But you know that the emotional like toll that like even writing this or like, you know, dealing with these things like Kelsey is right here is just so like intense. Oh, fuck. OK, this next track is called Just Married. That's like, you know, that's a truth. I got married at uh, 23 um, and I had no idea what I was doing, but I knew that the person I was with, who I've been with almost 10 years now, um, I knew the person that I was with was it. And it wasn't this like fairy tale thing where we had this big magical wedding and all these things. We just went to a courthouse and got married like pretty much right after we met. It's not exactly everybody's um, 
out like output but i know that like at that age friends of mine um that were you know getting married or you know whatever these long-term relationships nobody knows what's going on at 23 you think you're doing what you're supposed to do you don't off you don't like always have the kind of like hindsight to look back at yourself and be like is this really what i should be doing or what i want Mm. Wow. So having this relationship that is going so great and you have so much love and then you do what you think you're supposed to do, which is marry this person, even though, you know, maybe you hadn't spent that much time with each other. Maybe you hadn't really learned the ins and outs of what it was going to be like. So you go from love to just married, which is super sad. She also says here, I wasn't like, I essentially wasn't uh, brought up to like raise somebody else and clean up after them and kind of like play house um, and like hide the way I feel about our relationship to other people and stuff. It just goes to show that like every single person is so different. And that's why a lot of relationships do succeed, but a lot of them fail. And why just marry? These instrumentals are great. See that I love what she says right there because it just really goes to show there are a lot of people that um, end up in a relationship that, you know, it's because the wedding was so beautiful because, you know, this was so nice and everything was so romantic that this is going to be this great relationship. And just the reality is like, you know, a wedding is simply just an event and it doesn't quite it doesn't really show or or give an idea as to what your relationship is really like and so she's saying right there like man i wish that you know because all these things were so nice i wish that i wasn't giving up on it just yet but the reality is like when you know you know Damn, she hits it on the head there. It was love. It really was. Uh, people do fall in love. They also fall out of love. And sometimes people get married and they think that's it. And the reality is that you have to, like, you should always be dating your partner. Like, even when you're married. Like, marriage, at the end of the day, it's obviously very beautiful. I've been married. I'm still married. I love being married to my wife. But, but... You have to keep dating that person because the marriage is for like all the other pieces of it. This partnership, you know, it's almost like a business deal. Like you're you're buying stuff together and you got taxes and all this other stuff. But it also has this like beautiful piece to it where it's like you have decided in law that you are going to, you know, do the do this life journey together. But sometimes people put so much emphasis on the married part like, oh, that's my husband. We're married. But they forget that, like, just because you have this title doesn't mean that suddenly um, you can just, like, stop caring for somebody. And it kind of sounds, at least based on Mountain with a View and even just married, it kind of sounds like there was this distance that was created between them pretty, like, quickly during the marriage. And that's fucking, that sucks. But it, it's a really sad reality. Okay, this is Penthouse. Off of 8th Avenue. So we said I do and we watched mm. cars of bachelorettes, 2 a.m. cigarettes. You know, her voice um, in this album sounds a lot different than from what I've listened to before from her. Uh, you can tell that there is a much bigger emotional weight that she's carrying on her shoulders in this um, versus, you know, maybe like more of the commercial uh, tracks that she's done, the, the bigger singles and stuff. You can tell that this is very much an emotional release. Mm. 
Mm. Uh, people will start doing these things that they think they're supposed to do because that's going to make the relationship better. I'm going to go get this um, this house for us with this picket fence so that we can have kids and all this stuff because that's what's going to make this feel like it's more freeing. But when you are falling out of love with somebody and you're going through the motions, those things are just going to be even more mental weight that um, your your heart simply cannot be fixed by purchasing things and by doing what society's standards are. And it's just amazing that Kelsey's capturing this so beautifully um, in lyrics. I love that. God damn. Shit in the box, and now we don't talk. And it's things rolling up the welcome mat, knowing you got half. What the fuck? God damn. Okay, so a couple things she says there. I actually want to take it back just so I can get that note one more time. So, oh man. Okay, so first, uh, she says, like, you know, essentially, like, decorating and and painting this house well this penthouse and making it all these things so that we can play house essentially because that's all we're doing is it's all for show um and so you want to you know you want it to look nice you want it to be presentable when you're playing house in a penthouse but then she gets to this part here talking about boxing the shit up they're no longer friends all this stuff and then of course it hurts her to the core to think that all this that she's worked for, um, she's very successful and she's only going to continue to, um, to grow in success. But like at the end of this relationship, now she's having to literally, and that's just, I mean, that's the way that the law works. I don't know where her relationship was prior to her getting this, um, this career, but that's, that's what happens, you know, you fucking end up in this relationship. Neither one of you are together anymore. You don't even talk, but you had to give them half of, you know, what you've earned, what you've, what you've strived for as an artist. And that is very challenging for people. Up the welcome mat, knowing you got half. Mm. Fuck. I fucking love her voice. Oh my God. See, this is like, there are multiple things I've heard in this album so far that just show me that Kelsey was like, she knew what she wanted and the person that she was with was not who she wanted because, you know, people are different in relationships. And I think that's what makes relationships so beautiful is that everyone's got these differing opinions. But like when someone is like the seeing things opposite of you that's not going to be what you really want. Like Kelsey's like, Oh, I saw this house. It's going to be the most amazing thing. That person's like, no, this isn't it. Like conversation should happen, but taste while it can be different. You find that two different people can be on a very similar wavelength when it comes to decision-making and plans and goals and life lessons. And when you're with the wrong person, that's just another great example of that. She is she's honestly piecing together something so beautifully, um, in these lyrics. And I, I mean, I feel like, I almost feel like I'm, um, invading her space by, by like watching her relationship play out through these lyrics. But at the same time, I'm just like appreciative that the welcome mat was at least rolled out for us to be able to hear this because this is incredible. And I imagine that, um, just touching into the emotions, the way she's doing, I think that, ongoing we're gonna get even more of this from kelsey all right this is the interlude oh kelsey yes oh my god she's fucking she's so good i just want to say that like hearing her do that style is amazing but at the same time listen to what she's saying putting being on a on a like a very public like life like when you're a celebrity when you're you know someone like this um you're everything you do is out there and so like maybe you can't say what's going on like she said my my lawyer says that I shouldn't um but at the same time I've got the internet commenting on I you know am I okay I look like I'm losing weight here I am here, here, these people are trying to like figure out what's wrong with me at the same time I'm dealing with all this stuff 
on the back end trying to get out of this relationship. But I don't know if she lives in Nashville. I just went there. There was a lot of Kelsey Ballerini things. I saw a lot of posters and a lot of just like cool, just cool country music stuff in general. But she's saying it's, you know, of course, it's like this town to essentially like, you know, kind of like blame the woman, like give the woman a hard time for this. Um, and it just goes to show that like in a, a relationship ending is hard anyways. A divorce, I imagine, is very difficult. But be in the spotlight the way that, um, you know, Kelsey is and then try to go through that and then have to deal with that back end of somebody taking half or, you know, trying not to have this relationship in. There's just a lot that goes into it. And man, I, the way that she delivers this is so fucking good. All right, this is blindsided. Okay, wait, were you blindsided or were you just blind? Meaning, did you get completely like shocked whenever you this divorce came or did you really not see what was going on in our relationship that led to this? Because this shouldn't have been a surprise. Ooh. Oh, I want to hear her do more stuff over instrumentals like this. You know, it's it, it's such an uplifting uh, instrumental here, right? We're having like such a great time with it, but like this is also really sad. You know, two people that obviously had this relationship falling apart, and it seemed like it should have been obvious for this other person to know that it was happening. They're in therapy together. Like, I'm not saying that like healthy relationships don't also go to therapy. I think that there's probably a lot of benefit to that. But like the reality is, if you're in relationship therapy, it's because maybe you're dealing with um trying to either fix an uh, fix an argument or handle certain emotions that are coming up or maybe you're just not getting along um and you know Kelsey's like you didn't want to leave the house I wanted to buy a home like we are just two different people start a guitar solo with something so sad like that okay that like little voice note or whatever um of of what i imagine was kelsey in in actual conversation with this other person crying um that fucking hits because it's different than just telling the story but it really shows you the story and it's also really challenging in this moment because you're thinking to yourself like, wow, we were in this relationship and we've been in it for quite some time and we've been going through this path together. But like when when this relationship ends, I'd be shocked to know that you didn't see it coming considering, you know, right before a show, a big show that's important. We get in this fight, I sleep on the couch and now you're in a suit going there and I'm having to sing about something um, that's literally killing me on the inside to know that I'm you know probably relating to it. And... Ah, you just hear the voice note and I get fucking goosebumps because it's just like so crushing. Fuck. Ah, it's so crushing. Damn it. I, I guess like to being married. Uh, well, I, you know, take marriage out of it. Anybody who's been in like a relationship that was like any sort of like long term or like seriously committed relationship. Um, those moments leading up to a breakup, it's usually not unless somebody does something really fucked up. Like if you're growing apart. It's not just like an instant occurrence. This thing is happening, right? It's happening right before your eyes. So like you'd have to be blind to miss it. Okay. Last track, Leave Me Again. And I hope you and Jane are talking more of it. But then I outgrew it. Oh. Staying only made me get real good at pretending relationship the most important thing you can do is be you um you know do things that nurture your spirit do things that bring you happiness bring you joy because you're going to be a better partner and kelsey is saying here like look i was trying to um do what i thought was best for this relationship which included kind of just like giving myself up if it meant to you know go through the motions of what would fix it and when you lose yourself like you're gonna lose your happiness which i think 
again, you can't be a good partner if you can't find that happiness for yourself as well. But then I outgrew it. Oh my god, she's got such a beautiful voice. So I actually feel like there's a couple emotions that end up on this last track where it's very much a I'm kind of like reflection of, you know, we were in this relationship that didn't work out and I really want all these things for you. And like going as far as I imagine, these are very specific um, references to things that uh, this person either enjoyed doing or maybe wanted to do whatever. And I, I love it because it's not a it's not a hateful song by any means. And I don't really think any of this really is. There is at least a little bit of anger in Penthouse, but I feel like this track is just saying like, I hope that all those things work out for you. And I hope that I don't sacrifice myself for anyone again. And that's a really like, I feel like it's a very fair reality to live in is like, you know, just cause our relationship ended doesn't mean that I absolutely like, you know, fuck you. I hate you. Although a lot of relationships do that, but this is more so like, look, I hope now you see that you have this freedom to do those things you wanted. And I'm just hoping that I can, you know, love myself again and make sure that I, you know, don't like switch that. Don't change up on it. So this EP is so beautiful, very tragic, but very real. I think that oftentimes whenever we hear these albums, these songs, these stories of, of breakups, of divorce, of love lost and love gained, sometimes it feels a little bit out of touch with reality. And I feel like what Kelsey did here is she brought the reality back in, which is why this is like such a crushing six tracks, because this can feel so relatable to just about everybody. It's not talking about these like Prince Charmings. We're not talking about this like, you know, over the top fantasy land of love. No, we're talking about the reality of what happens when two people fall out of love or when one person falls out of love. It sounds like in Mountain With A View and Just Married, they both sort of fell out of love, but there was love and then it was just married, meaning these people really did care about each other. And I think that, I think that sometimes you want to have the very real like reality as to why like it, you can feel that emotion. And I think that's exactly what Kelsey gives us here. You know, she sounds incredible throughout this, but that's not to say that there's not a broken sort of like sadness that exists on everything here. And the fact that these songs, especially like instrumentally, they catered so well to this. I, I don't know if Kelsey usually utilizes the kind of instrumentals she was using in this, but I'm here for it. I want to hear more of it. I think it sounds so fucking cool. Interlude really showcases that like she's got a cross, even though like vocally she's got a very like country sound to her. She's got crossover everywhere. You name it, she's going to cross over. And I think that all those pieces together are just like really present a very beautiful, sad, but beautiful picture of this relationship falling apart. Um, and I think that this is a very healing thing for somebody who's so ingrained in music. Um, everybody has to have an outlet. And I feel like you have artists that, you know, end up creating these masterpieces, poets that write this poetry that just brings them to life. Um, and I think that with uh, an artist like Kelsey Ballerini, music is that therapy. And to hear all of that emotion coming to life, to hear and honestly feel like I was visually watching her relationship fall apart. It's, it's crushing, but I'm also like very happy for her to be able to make this album as a way of getting that out. You know, when you're having to live in the spotlight and not being able to um, tell everybody what's going on all the time, to not be able to kind of like voice those things because you're hiding it on the inside. You're playing home in a penthouse. You're everything's just dressed up for the look. It's you're not really uh, being able to address those things. Um, I think that the the two things that really hit me through this, obviously we've talked about all the meanings and, and different things. The two things that really hit me um, was one blindsided hearing 
that, you know, that moment of what felt like listening in on, on a fight, on a relationship, um, ending, I've definitely been in that position before. So hearing Kelsey do that immediately gave me goosebumps because I just like, I could empathize with that so much. And at the same time, that whole song is just trying to decide like, yo, did you even like, did you, were you in the same relationship that I was in? Because like, you shouldn't be surprised that this is ending because when the fuck have we been happy? It's we get drunk to talk to each other. We are just not compatible and I have fallen out of love, but it can be hard for people to see. The other thing is I really appreciated uh, the interlude. It was like mostly sonically. I wasn't expecting that from Kelsey. I didn't really expect that sound. Um, so for her to put that track out, it had so much meaning behind it in 45 seconds and it be such a cool delivery from her. I think uh, just like was like icing on the cake of this. I love this. This is an absolutely incredible project. Very sad, but very real. And sometimes I think our our brains, our bodies, our minds, and our hearts really need something like this. So I love this. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you want to support the channel, check out Patreon. Links in the description. This EP as a full uncut listening party will be available over there now. If you're watching this on YouTube, it's already up. Um, yeah, so I appreciate you guys so much. I know that there is a short film to this. Um, let me know in the comment section if you guys want to see that. I'll be doing it as a Patreon exclusive, usually with those like long form content. That's why I love Patreon because I, I can do cool exclusive long form content over there. So I'm going to do that over there. So let me know in the comment section if you guys are interested in checking that out. But with all of that out of the way, I love you all. Remember to never leave you again. Always know yourself and um, live your life with some positivity. I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.